Welcome! This video will help to get you and your equipment ready for a smooth experience when taking your functional skills exam, via a remote invigilation process. The first step is to join your invigilator in a Zoom meeting. You will have received a calendar invite in advance. You can find the Zoom link in either the invitation email or the calendar event in your diary. Your appointment will allow time for the invigilator and you to test the laptop and software for anything that might interfere with a normal exam process. 15 minutes is generally allocated just before your exam time. After you connect with your invigilator, they will go through a checklist to ensure you are in a safe and appropriate environment before starting your exam. Please ensure that you are wearing comfortable clothes. No headwear is allowed except for religious attire. Kindly remove your wristwatch from your arm and note that headphones are not permitted. You should have photo identification with you. Examples of acceptable forms of ID include a driver's license, passport, a citizen's card, or an employment identification badge displaying your full name and photo with a birth certificate. You are allowed to sit in any room that offers privacy and quiet. For example, your bedroom or living room at home may be suitable. Be sure to make arrangements to have children and pets taken care of if they are at home with you. You may find it more convenient to go to a quiet room at your place of work. Before entering the room, please ask everyone around to ensure you are not disturbed and that no one enters the room until you are finished. If you can put up a sign on the door, this would be ideal. Generally speaking, you'll need around two hours of privacy. The room should have as little clutter as possible with no books, papers, posters, etc. within your reach. As your exam will take place online, it is essential that you have a reliable internet connection. Please connect to the Wi-Fi of the establishment you are in. Mobile phones are no longer allowed near the examination computer. Therefore the use of a hotspot is no longer acceptable. Firstly, the invigilator will confirm your identity. Please show them one of the acceptable forms of ID, as noted earlier. Then the invigilator will notify you that they will start recording the Zoom session. This is a requirement of the exam board. The recording is considered confidential, and is only shared with your training consultant and the exam authority who will mark your exam work. Your invigilator will ask you to show the room you are sitting in through your webcam. They will ask you to stand, Hold and rotate your laptop at an angle that allows them to see the walls, floor, ceiling and desk that you will use. They will want to see under the desk. Using the mirror, or your phone with screen off in selfie mode, they will want to see your laptop keyboard and screen in the reflection. Have your blank sheets of paper ready for the invigilator to look at as well. You are allowed to bring in a bottle of drink, but any labels must be removed before entering the exam room. The desk should have nothing on it except your computer, your drink, if you have one, in a clear container with no label and pen and blank paper. This list shows the minimum specifications for a computer running an exam. Your invigilator can confirm this with you if you are unsure. You should have a charger for your laptop, and it should be plugged into main power. You don't want the risk that there will be insufficient battery life for the duration of the assessment. You can have an external USB or wireless mouse if it's easier for you. Please ensure that this works before connecting with the invigilator as he will not be able to support you with any mouse issues. If you are doing maths, you are allowed to use a non-scientific calculator for portions of your assessment, but it is preferable to use the online calculator provided within the exam. You are also permitted a dictionary. If you are doing English reading you are allowed to use a dictionary for portions of your assessment, but not a thesaurus. There should be no additional notes or papers in the dictionary, neither written in or attached. Prior to starting the exam, the first thing you should do is share your screen with the invigilator. The invigilator will check that you have a good video and audio connection with them. To ensure a reliable exam experience, you will be asked to do a broadband speed test. Launch a new browser tab and go to www.speedtest.net. Click the big go button and read the results back to the invigilator. They will then advise if it's okay to continue. Pop-up blockers should be deactivated and any browser add-ons like Grammarly along with features like spell checkers should be disabled before arriving in the test center. 
A guide to accomplish this should have been provided to you in advance, but if you still need assistance doing this, your trainer can help with this, preferably at some point before your exam date. During your exam, do not switch off your webcam or mute your microphone. Before starting your exam the invigilator will share all the necessary information to get to the exam platform in a chat box. So you can copy and paste. We hope this video has been useful to you. We want you to be as prepared as possible and reduce any risk of an aborted or cancelled exam session. If you are watching this well in advance of your exam appointment, and you have further questions, please talk to your training consultant. Thank you for watching.